Hey, how's it going? This is vlog number four. Uh, coming in on the like seven vlog, ten vlogs, nine vlogs actually. Okay, it was going to be about seven minutes long, so it's going to take a cool minute, I think. Um, so this week the prompt is lately in today's day and age, there's bad connotation with the term millennial as part of the movement. What does it mean to you to be a millennial? How do you think being a millennial varies in the United States versus other parts of the world? Hmm. I mean, honestly, when I f hear the word millennial, like, it, it does sort of have a bad connotation to me personally. And as one of my roommates. But yeah, it, it kind of does have a bad connotation to me personally because I honestly think millennials, like me included, are like one of the worst generations. Like, true, we do have like the most, you know, we are the future, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But I don't know. I feel like our generation is a bit like whiny and a bit, you know, we rely too much on technology and stuff. Like, other generations didn't have any of this stuff, you know, and we're kind of just spoiled, in my honest opinion. Um, but, yeah, um, to me, being a millennial is kind of just, like, I guess, like, moving forward in advancement. Uh, you know, like, sorry, my hair is all messed up. But, yeah, I mean... Being a millennial is just kind of like, we're the future, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. We're the ones that are going to have to, like, kind of figure everything out now. Um, yeah, there's still, like, people around from other generations and stuff, but their time is, like, almost up, like, in the clearest sense. You know, they're not going to be around forever, and we're going to have to take over, and we're going to have to be the generation that gets the ball rolling even farther and I don't know it's kind of weird to think like you know but with all the dumb stuff that millennials do like you would imagine like what what can we get done yeah there are a couple of us out there yeah that you know we have great potential but I mean for the most part everyone else is just kind of sensitive or ar arrogant and i'm not i'm not you know singling myself out here like you know i'm I'm probably arrogant too and like sensitive about stuff like like the past um past generations have fought in wars gone without cell phones gone without computers how to use like you know different resources and different ways to communicate with everyone Nowadays, it's just so easy to talk to anyone, basically anywhere around the world. And I, I feel like us as millennials, we're kind of taking that as granted. We're kind of taking that for granted because it's just what we've known basically our whole lives. You know? Yeah, like maybe our first couple of years, we didn't really have all that, but we had some form of technology. You know, we weren't always like forced to have to, you know, use a book for research or, you know, we had the internet by then. Even it was a bit slow, you know, we did have it. And, uh, you know, we had TV, we had video games, we had all these amazing things, cell phones. Like, you know, I don't, I don't even think I could remember a time when we didn't have cell phones or we didn't at least have a house phone, you know. Like, I guess, um... It varies to, you know, to other people, like, you know, being a millennial in, like, another country or something like that. Um, you know, like, if you're a millennial that was born in India, I'm pretty sure it would be different to, you know, a millennial that's born here in the United States. I don't know in what sense, to be honest. Um, probably just... Maybe, like, in a religious sense, a social sense, obviously there's some differences. 
but I feel like all millennials are kind of similar in the sense that we all we all have been kind of spoiled and that's my main point that I keep coming back to that millennials are spoiled including myself I'm not gonna single myself out but uh yeah I mean <laughs> I don't know I, I don't know where I'm going with this but yeah I mean being a millennial is cool, I guess, we're the next generation, we're coming up in the world, whatever. We'll see how we do in the next couple of years, considering what's going on right now, um, like Trump coming into office and like, you know, a lot of European tension with like the English Brexit and, you know, just a whole bunch of things that are going on in the world, like, you know, the whole like russia connection thing with the president one of the president's cabinet members yeah and i, I feel like all, all millennials are really doing right now is we're just protesting we're not we're not taking action we're just talking you know we're all bark and no bite it's not a great way to define our generation you know are we going to be the generation that lets you know all all of this Everything that's been created, like, by past generations, are we going to let it all go to shit? Or are we going to build upon it? I don't know. But I guess only time will tell. I mean, let's just hope for everyone, that, you know, upcoming generations and for, you know, us and our grandkids or whatever. Let's hope we do something. Let's hope we, we actually get some stuff done and we actually make the world a better place, right? Well, I was seven minutes. It's kind of awkward, but yeah, there you go. My take on millennials. Later.